Hey guys, welcome to our channel, P9 Moms Blogs. On this episode, I've got a list of seven practical things for to know about the Netherlands, especially if you're planning to move here or if you're just new to this country. So let's get on with it. Number one, the Dutch culture. You might have heard a little bit more about the Dutch people being direct and to newcomers or some expats that might come off as rude, a little bit rude, um, but actually it's just saying that they prefer to communicate in clarity and be direct without actually being insensitive. And so they expect for you also to do the same. So kung mahiyain po kayo, you're too shy, it's not gonna work here and you're just gonna have to learn to adjust and be confident through time. At kung medyo sensitive po tayo, madaling masaktan ang loob, you'll soon learn that it's nothing personal and it toughens you up a little bit. Uh, but one thing's for sure, I've lived in different countries myself. The Dutch people are very friendly, they're very welcoming po and accommodating, especially towards foreigners compared to other European countries. Number two, the weather. Uh, the Netherlands po has four seasons. If you're used to warm tropical climates, then the Dutch weather will definitely be colder. It's not sunny here uh, all year round uh, and the summer temperatures would range between 17 to 20 degrees. Although lately it's also been starting to feel like the Philippine weather, uh, the difference is it's not humid here po. Um, we're currently though in the autumn season, so we're expecting beautiful fall colors of the tree leaves and then during during the winter months, it doesn't snow, but if it does, it's usually uh, those um, wet snow, which are snowflakes that fall on the ground and then it melts right away. The temperatures during winter uh, can range between 2 to 6 degrees. Uh, and then in the springtime, uh, when uh, it's tulip season, with all the colors of the rainbow, that is a very comfortable 10 to, to 10 to 20 degrees. Now, does it rain around here? A lot, bo. Rain here is unpredictable and you cannot really rely on the weather forecast because sometimes um, you'd see that it's gonna rain but actually it's not or sometimes you think it's gonna be with clear skies and then it's gonna shower all of a sudden. So here in the Netherlands, it's always wise to have an umbrella with you. Number three, food. Here in the Netherlands, po, expect simple hearty dishes. Uh, they like their potatoes. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's mashed or it's in the form of fries. They also love their bread. Bread has a special place in the Dutch culture. They have all kinds too. They have whole grain, they have rye bread, and a lot more. They eat it for breakfast. Sometimes they eat it with hakaslag or cho chocolate sprinkles. Um, they have it for lunch. And then if they don't have a lot of dinner options, they also have it for dinner. But sometimes they really would prefer warm meal during dinner. Uh, or sometimes if they only have bread, then they can also have it with soup. Um, expect to try some stampot, uh, which is mashed potatoes with some vegetables in it. Um, you might also want to try herring, which is raw herring fish. And there's also bitterballen, which are deep fried meatballs. As for snacks, there's a variety of them. And if you watch this video on the top of your screen, I'll show you the top 10 Dutch snacks that I think you will like. And as for cheese, that's a food staple like rice for us Filipinos. You will see all the possible variety of cheese here in this country. You name it, they have it. They have cheese markets, they have cheese farms, they have cheese shops, they have cheese museums. So enough said. Number four, transportation. So if you're moving to the Netherlands, here's one thing that you need to do first. Get a bicycle. The Netherlands Po is renowned for its cycling culture and they have well-maintained bike lanes everywhere. Public transport is very efficient, although a lot of people prefer to cycle. There are trams, there are trains, and, and you use a personal OV chip card, which is kind of like a pin pass uh, that you regularly fill up with an amount or you can buy on ticket machines. And you can also have like a subscription for this and you can use it in public transports. This is a must have if you are a public transport user. But like I said, bicycles here are a thing. There's even more bicycles here po than residents. It's like around 24 million bikes compared to 17 million people. Um, and they have all different kinds. So there are normal bikes, there's baby bikes, bikes with side cart, race bikes, cargo bikes, and even electric bikes are around too. Number five, leisure. 
If you like outdoor activities, but you'll be fine here. There's a lot of things that you can do outdoors because the Dutch people themselves, they love outdoor activities, especially in a good weather. And if you have kids, there's plenty of playgrounds here, Po, and there's plenty of parks around. Schools here would typically have their own playgrounds, but in a lot of places, there's like playgrounds everywhere and it's open to public um, especially in certain schools they're also open outside school hours so it can be accessible to a lot of kids in the area or in the neighborhood there's a lot of football fields and that means soccer here uh, not the american football type and there's also some basketball courts and even ping pong tables uh, around that you can easily see and you can easily find other um out other outdoor activities here Paul, that you'd like to try uh, would be canal cruises if you'd like that. You can also do picnics in the park, uh, swimming during the warm weathers, and a nature stroll in the forest. That would be fine as well. Number six, the language. While Dutch is the official language here, Paul, a lot of people speak English. It's, it's basically their second language. Although some know one or two more languages like German or French. And here, um, English is mostly spoken in the Randstad areas like uh, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Utrecht, and The Hague. Um, but you also hear a lot of uh, spoken English in the city of Maastricht, uh, which borders the Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany. In any case, even if English is easily understood here, it's, uh, it's also interesting and it would be nice to learn basic Dutch. If you know some Dutch phrases that will be really appreciated, it can also help your daily activities, especially if like you're going to um, uh, neighboring cities. Number seven, housing. Housing, especially in the cities like Amsterdam and Utrecht, as well as Rotterdam, can be very expensive and also very challenging to find. Many Dutch people po, live in row houses or, um, yeah, they're called row houses with steep stairs. And I actually have a video uh, here on the top of your screen again, if you'd like to uh, know a little, bit, a little bit more about the uniqueness of Dutch houses. And with regards to renting or buying a house, it's advisable to familiarize yourself with the local housing market here uh, and definitely consider hiring uh, an agent uh, for assistance. There are websites that you can actually uh, use as well. You can use that to start off with your search, but I definitely advise that you do get an agent uh, because they can help you find a place according to your budget and your needs. Plus, you need someone who speaks fluent Dutch to read those fine prints. Remember, the Netherlands offers a unique blend of modern convenience spot with this rich history and tolerant culture. And adapting to this Dutch way of life might take a bit of time uh, for some or to many of you uh, who would be interested to live here or are already residing here. But I'm certainly happy to call this my new home and I sure do hope that you would too. Until next time! Thanks for watching this video. Please check out our playlist for more interesting videos here on Pinayan Mom's blogs and I'll see you again next time. Thanks guys. Bye now. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more episodes of Pinayan Mom's blogs, please click on any of the links up ahead or you can subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified of our new posts every time. Thanks for watching.